Today I'm going to show you how to create a travel mat in Final Cut. The first step of this actually starts in Photoshop. You want to open a new file with a transparent background. Grab your brush tool and paint in white. Then you want to save this file as a PSD. Place that file in your Final Cut project file and import it into Final Cut. Now in Final Cut, you're going to need a project with three video tracks. To add a track, just right click on the timeline and then select Add Track. So starting off, you want to double click on your video clip to bring it into the viewer. You just want to make sure that it is the right video. Once you know it's right, drag it down into track 3 in the timeline. Now you want to click on the little button with an A on it and choose Render, Custom Gradient. When you bring that up, you'll find the default gradient is black and white. And we're going to change this and add a little color to it. To change the color, just click on the controls in your viewer and select the colors that you want. Now you want to drag this clip to track 1 on the timeline. Double click on your PSD file and you'll see that it opens up in a new sequence. In that sequence, double click on the track that's in the timeline and that'll load it into your viewer. Now you want to change your tab, go back to our original sequence of the travel mat, and you want to drag that mask from the viewer into track 2. Now you have your three video tracks. Right click on the clip that's in track 3 and go down and choose composite mode and then travel mat alpha. If necessary you want to render this clip by hitting option R. And now what you have is a video showing through your alpha mat. But now we're going to add a little more spice to this travel mat. So double click the PSD to load it into the viewer. And click on the duration and change the time to 3 frames. Now click on the image wireframe in the viewer, move the image and rotate it just a little bit. Make sure that track 2 is the selected track in the timeline and then click on the red overwrite button in the canvas. Then you're going to want to move the image, rotate it again, and click the red overwrite button once more. And then why don't we do this a fourth time. Now what you want to do is select all the clips on track 2, hit Command C to copy, and Command V to paste. Just keep hitting uh, Command V until your travel mat is the same duration as your video clip. And now if you scrub through you can see you've got your travel mat just bouncing around there. Now to work on this as one item, you need to nest all the clips from the travel mat together. So select all the clips on track 2 and go up to sequence and nest items. Just name it mask, click OK and now you can see that you have one clip to work with in track 2. 
So now let's add a drop shadow to the mask. Uh, first you need to select the mask and the video clip and nest them together. So once again, select the video, select the mask, go up to sequence and nest items. When working with nested items, in order to load it into the viewer, you need to click on it once and then hit the enter key. If you simply, if you simply double click it like you usually do, it just opens up another sequence and then unnests it. And that's not what we want. So make sure you click on it once and hit enter. And click on the motion tab and select the drop shadow. And you can see in the canvas that you now have a drop shadow. You can mess around with it a little bit if you want a better drop shadow. And then after making these changes, you're probably going to have to render the clip. So just render it and export it. It is important to remember to nest the mask and video before adding the drop shadow. Otherwise, if you just add the drop shadow just to the mask, it's not going to play right. And it'll actually just show more of the video clip as opposed to a drop shadow. So that's why it's important to nest those. Okay, so everything is exported. We can play our video, and here's what it looks like. Let's see, where are we? Oh my goodness, we're in the fruits and vegetables section. Well, let's get the hell out of here. It's as simple as that. I hope you had as much fun watching this as I had doing this.